What's up guys, Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. If you're new to the channel, my name's Zach, I'm a second year ophthalmology resident, and today we're going over the differences between med school and residency. Let's get into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel, leave a like down below, and turn on the bell notifications. We talk about everything from med school, residency, to ophthalmology, and everything related to becoming a doctor. So the video today is focused on the differences between medical school and residency. As you probably know, after four years of undergraduate education, apply and go to medical school. And after medical school, where you complete four years of training, you further specialize in residency, where you pick which specialty you're gonna do, whether it's internal medicine or surgery, ENT, ophthalmology, urology, whatever you're gonna specialize in that's what your residency is used to focus on Now, residencies vary anywhere from about three years for something like internal medicine or emergency room medicine all the way up to seven years for neurosurgery and even more if you add in research years that can be in some of these programs so in today's video I want to highlight five main differences between medical school and residency so if you are a medical student and you're getting ready to go into residency and you're just wondering how it's gonna differ, this video may be helpful. Or if you're an undergraduate and you're thinking about going to med school and just wondering about the next steps, you may also find this video kinda interesting. So hang around and let's get into the video. So number one, first off, which may be the most obvious, is that you're actually making money in residency. As a medical student, you're actually paying to go to school and it is a hefty chunk of change that you're paying. Medical school is not cheap, it is much more expensive than college and you really can rack up a lot of debt. In-state tuition for medical school is gonna be a lot cheaper than out-of-state. Where I went, for example, the in-state tuition was about 20 six thousand dollars a year so by the end of medical school you're already looking at minimum a hundred thousand dollars debt now you add into that the fact that you're not making any money while at the same time you still have expenses a lot of times you end up having to take out loans just to live off of to pay rent to eat whereas with residency you're finally making money they're actually paying you to do it now, albeit it's not the salary of an attending physician or someone who's been practicing for a long time but it is some money and you're getting paid instead of actually paying to do it. The typical salary for a resident is probably going to range somewhere from about the mid 50000 to about the mid 60000 per year. So in that regard, residency definitely has the leg up on med school and that you're finally actually making money and feeling like you have a real job. Number two is also a big benefit for residency over medical school is that it's finally more focused and you're getting to focus on something that you want to study. So assuming that you get into the residency of the specialty that you want to do, you're finally getting to study that thing and really just focus on that thing. So if you really want to be a neurosurgeon and you finally get into neurosurgery residency, you're no longer focusing on every other aspect of medicine. You're finally focusing on your specialty. You're learning to become a surgeon, a neurosurgeon, whatever. Now for me, that's ophthalmology. So now all I do is focus on the eyes. Now I still have to know about how the eyes relate to systemic uh, manifestations in the body and different diseases and that kind of thing but I get to focus just on the eyes. So in that regard residency is super nice because I get to really just focus on what I'm interested in now and what I like. Whereas with med school you're really learning everything. You're trying to get a huge breadth of knowledge and kind of build a foundation which is necessary but not as uh, exciting or as enjoyable as just focusing on what you really want to do. The other hard part about the med school education is that they cram so much information into such a short period of time. They'll basically take a semester's worth of college education like biochemistry, compress it into about two weeks. So compact, so much information kind of force fed to you. Now that's not to say that residency doesn't come with the need to study, but you're doing a lot more hands-on learning, a kind of learning that tends to stick better, I think. So that's number two. It's just more focused, directed at your specialty and getting to learn your specialty. So number three, and this may be one of the biggest differences in actually shaping you as a doctor. Moving from med school to residency, you become much more responsible for the patient. Now in med school, you're kind of doing like this ancillary work, you're writing notes, you're seeing the patients, you're kind of maybe reporting back to a resident or an attending. In residence, you're taking ownership of that patient and actually being the one making the decisions, uh, especially if you go to a more autonomous program, especially like the one that I'm at, you get to make a lot of these decisions and feel pretty responsible for uh, the health of these people. And that is a huge leap from med school where oftentimes you do not have that freedom uh, and you don't have that amount of responsibility. And you really don't feel the weight of that responsibility until you get to residency, or I certainly didn't at least. And I think that's probably the scariest part about residency, the fact that you're taking on ownership of a another human being's health. And that is something that's very scary in the beginning, but also very rewarding. And ultimately, I think that's what really shapes you as a doctor. When you really have to take responsibility, I think that really helps you develop as a doctor and it forces you to make decisions. Uh, and that's what really makes you a physician. And that is something that I just didn't really feel for med school. 
Uh, maybe you've had a different experience in med school, but for me, I just really didn't feel that until residency. And it's been hard, but it's also helped me to grow the most probably in any of my uh, medical training is, is residency and having to make those decisions and uh, take on that responsibility. So that's number three is the responsibility that you take as a resident compared to a medical student. So number four is the actual work that you're doing and actually what makes up the bulk of your focus is from a day to day. So as a med student, one of the most important things that you're trying to like get down and learn to do is like take a history, write a note, and be able to present a patient. Kind of the like thing you're doing as a med student, being an information gap, trying to figure out what information is even useful. And the change that you have to make, that you're forced to make in residency when you're required to make these decisions for people, become the decision maker. And the most important thing, as opposed to collecting the information, is that now you're acting on the information. Not only do you need to be good at collecting that information that you should have learned in med school, now you have to take that information, process it, figure out what's going on and actually decide what you're gonna do. You move from information gathering to treatment plans. And so no longer is the main focus writing your note. Now the main focus is putting in the orders and knowing which orders need to be done and following up and making sure those things happen. So it's not to say that the part you learn in med school, the information gathering is not important because the other part in residency can only build on what you learned in med school. You have to be good at gathering the information before you can decide what treatment the patient's gonna need, what orders you have to place, know how to follow up on those orders to see if your treatment is working. And that's really what residency, I feel like, is about, is learning to enact treatment plans, see if they work, know how to change things if they're not working. And that's, I think, the biggest part of residency. A side note for me as an ophthalmology resident, that's a little different because the whole information gathering process that we learned in med school doesn't really apply to ophthalmology at all because it's a new exam. It's a whole new focus. It's almost so different from everything you learned in med school that I basically had to start over right from the beginning. I had to learn the exam. I had to learn how to collect the information that's pertinent to ophthalmology, how to do the exam, what parts of it are even important, and then like very quickly quickly learn how to use that information, process it, and then decide on treatment plans because ophthalmology moves so quickly. You have to, right from the beginning of residency, you need to get good at the exam, and then you have to learn how to enact the treatment plans because where I train, it's very autonomous, and you know, you're know you making a lot of decisions right from the very uh, early parts of residency. So that's number four. Med school, you're an information gatherer. Residency, you're an acting on that information. You're deciding treatment plans. So number five is the emphasis in med school is more on education, whereas the emphasis in residency is more on the work. Now, that's not to say that the education part of residency isn't important, but the main focus of residency now is to care for the patient, actually do the work, and through that, you become educated in the field. You learn by doing it. Whereas with medical school, the whole focus is on teaching you and you learn a shift to residency is now the focus is you taking care of the patient and then you learn by doing that. So that's number five. Last one, we'll call this number six, like a bonus difference, is that in residency, you become a coordinator. You have to learn how to manage people. And this is something that you probably haven't done a lot as a medical student. Now that you're a resident, you're a doctor, and you're having to manage people, probably been doing their job, you know, decades, possibly longer than you. You have to have nurses that are helping you, and you have to help coordinate them to take care of the patients, even though you maybe only been doing this for a few months. So you have to learn to get along with people and actually kind of coordinate treatment teams as a resident and that's something that it's not really taught to you so much you just kind of have to learn it and it's something that you don't get in med school or at least I didn't feel like I did because when you're a med student you know, you're actually being coordinated a lot of time you reporting to a resident, the residents are telling you what to do, the attendings are telling you what to do, and now you become a resident and you're still reporting to attendings and things like that, but you're having to coordinate medical students, teach medical students, you're having to help coordinate nursing care, social work, all these other things. You become a coordinator and it really helps to have good people skills with this and be able to talk to people. And a lot of times in med school, because you're so isolated and studying, that's something that I feel like you don't get very good at, but it is a big difference moving from med school to residency. So those are a few of the differences that I I've found between medical school and residency. Let me know down in the comments if you've had different experiences. Maybe you haven't experienced these things or maybe you've experienced other things that I didn't mention. Love to hear it if you have experienced other things I haven't mentioned. But if you're interested in these kind of videos, I could make one that kind of details the differences between undergraduate education and medical school because there may be more of you out there that are in that position. You're trying to decide if you want to go to medical school. You're wondering how different it would be. And I could do a video talking about that transition. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD and I'll see you guys in the next video.